Right, it's a new season and we're gonna do a premiere draft uh, Brothers War again, so let's see. Pack one, pick one, let's see what we get here. The simulacrum is good, um, pretty darn good for sure. Uh, I guess battery barrier can be really nice, nice ramp, like if you go blue green ramp. Boulder branch golem is amazing, power stone fracture, wing commando. It's a little bit in between the bowler, bowler branch golem and the simulacrum here. This one enters battlefield, put two counters on target creature control. So it is kind of, uh, it comes, it could come in as a 4 3 4 3, that's pretty darn good value. Mm. And you can play it in any deck, I guess, but obviously it wants you to play green. Ah, let's go simulacrum. Slightly, it's slightly more open than going with the uh, uh, boulder branch golem. Let's see here. <clears throat> um, I guess uh, the Jade Crafter will be a pretty darn good follow up here. I do like myself the airlift chaplains. I do like playing white, but uh, you know what? Maybe we should try some green. There's some really good green cards here. But let's go with the Jade Crafter here. Oh, another chaplain. Ooh, yeah, well, now we don't have any particular green cards that I fancy. The Arbalas Engineers is uh, pretty darn good. Can't jump and haste until I'm done. Yeah, this one is good. So it's in between the Chaplain and the, the Engineer, I guess. Hmm. Man, this one is so good. But maybe, maybe... Ah, let's go with the Chaplain here. Okay, ooh, now I regret that because now a giant Cindermore came my way. That one is super, super tempting. This pack is, is really good. Maybe we should go. Yeah, okay. Change of plan. Let's go. Let's see, what do we do here? The Lotus is pretty darn good. It's proper ramp and it's fixing too. Maybe. The alternative would be the statue. Uh, Juggernaut is really good. Juggernaut is a proper consideration here. You know what, I'm gonna try the Lotus and, and see, maybe we can just go big stuff. Like green, green, red, big stuff. Soul Petition is fine. Uh, the Chain Dancer or the Paul Bearer. Or, uh, I don't know, man, this is, uh, it's so temporary, that uh, card. I'll take it anyways, though. We might still play white, it depends on next pack. What do I have here? Warlord Elite, uh, the Alloy Animist, and the Whirling Strike. I think we're gonna go with Alloy here. Because green, i kind of sure I want to play. I will see, we'll see. Little bit flaky. Maybe I should have just committed to red. Three mana, four, three trample. Players can't gain life, so good. Let's see what wheels. Ooh, I think I'm gonna go with the Suchi Cave Guard here. That goes well with my Lotus plans. There's no other cards that are like super important here, so yeah, let's go. Suchi. Pretty good. Word 4 helps. Protect this a bit. Opportunist would be nice. A bunch of Opportunist. If we play an Opportunist on 3, we can go Lotus on 4. And then we could go Suchi on 5. Maybe. Because 5, we have 5 lands out, plus 3. Yeah, wow, that would be kind of sick. Hmm. The dream. So I think we got unleashed. I think we're gonna play red. Uh, some really good blue cards here. All of these three. But let's go. Probably not going white unless we find a white bomb in the opening pack of uh, pack two. Uh, this is tricky. Rock counter or recluse. 
Surveillance is fine too, but I think we go Rock Hunter. I'm hoping we're gonna get a couple of Whirling Strikes. Then Rock Hunter is pretty darn good. Play this on two, you can attack in with the Whirling Strike open. Okay, let's see. Power Plant Worker or Supply Drop. I guess this is playable too. It's not, not super exciting. Rock counter seems good. We have some early drops, three drops. We have a little bit of a curve going on. Don't we go with the blue? The chain dancer might might be playable. Pretty good with equipment. Oh, there's a whirling strike. That's really good last pickup. Nice. Oh wow, <laughs> platinum angel. Ooh, ooh. And then we have the second. Like this is probably one of the best white rares in the format. But we're obviously gonna go platinum angel. But this one <laughs> wouldn't platinum angel been in this pack? Then I would probably have switched back to white, maybe red white aggro, and you know play this because this one is a bomb. What else are we missing? Nothing. There's no big green stuff. Bushwhack is great. I'm gonna play that one if we we lit. I don't think that will happen. Evolving Wilds. But yeah, let's go. Can't lose the game. Now we wanna find Swift Boats. That's high priority. Oh my god, the second best uh, white uh, rare. Oh my god, this feels so... Oh. This one is so goddamn good. I think I'm gonna have to pick it. Oh wow, okay, well. Damn. We are just getting the bombiest of the uh, white stuff. The low cost white stuff. <sighs> Man, we could have gone, if we would have gone with the... Uh, but Platinum Angel is a must play. Red, white. Sure. I'm, I'm willing to actually shift now. Because what do we have in green, to be honest? We don't have too much. Okay. Red, white it is. I wish I had that. God damn. Okay. So the library, monastery, leviathan, goblin. I think we're gonna go with the scrap mat here. Damn. Wallow the elite is really good. Let's go. Red, white aggro it is. We might still play the simulacrum. Maybe, because we have the lotus. Gilded Lotus, if, should we still play that one? Howling Mine. Eh, Howling Mine is alright with Warlord's Elite, if you have enough. You can tap it, so opponent doesn't get a, a benefit. I think we're gonna go with the Whirling Strike though. So good. In an aggro deck. Still want the uh, Swiss boots or Swift boots, whatever they're called, to make this indestructible or hexproof, rather. Mhm. Mm Man, I wonder if it would have been better taking that white. We will see. If we get the boots, then I'm happy. Let's see here. Are we gonna go with the? Prodigy or the Coreless Prodigy, probably. That's alright. It's haste. Probably not gonna go Power Plant Worker. We still might go Sushi and Gilded Lotus, as, uh, but I could also ditch them. We could still go Jade Crafter if we keep the Lotus. And we could still play the Simulacrum. Okay, that's pretty fancy. Equipped creature has death touch. Whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, that player loses half their life rounded up. That's kind of crazy, right? Wow, okay. Wow, that's pretty darn cool. I like it. It's very expensive to play, but 
we, if we can cheat it to play with the Queen Kyla, then, uh, then we're talking. It's a double striker. I think we go evolving wild here though. Yes, yeah, so we can, you know, do fixing. Should we main uh, deck a, a couple of forests? Oh, I have a hard time letting go of the white rare. This is great, but we're gonna go with the scrap mod. Monastery, that's haste and uh, prowess. Which one is better? Goblin runner. I don't think we're gonna have very many. Uh, ways to uh, sack stuff. So, oh, two of these. Okay, I can dig. Race to the ground. Damn. Okay. One show one drops. Now we need a couple more chaplains. Ay ay ay. I'm not expecting us to get any white cards now because. Uh, obviously, we passed the uh, Gadam, uh, Tosca, whatever it's called, the enchantment. So, the person, probably this guy, might play white. Or, oh, sorry, this guy. Let's see what we do here. Whenever you attack, oh well, this one is crazy. Whenever you attack, each of them loses X life and you gain X life for X number of attacking creatures. Okay, so this is good. So what do we need to meld this? Phyrexian Dragon Engine, okay. Let's go and find ourselves a Phyrexian Dragon Engine. Other good cards would be the research desk, but... Oh, Horn Stone Seeker is amazing. What else is good here? No, that's, that's it. Do like the opportunist, but we're not going green. Hmm. Tower worker ramps as Juggernaut is just good. Maybe it's Juggernaut here. I think so. Kind of like the curve here. We're packing in the early slots. I hope we get the boots. Super high prior pickup. Probably. Let's see. Removal or scrap mat. Here we go. Removal. Drop Suchi. Oh, another chaplain. That's fantastic. Is there anything we're missing out on? Another mat. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy chaplain for us. Kind of want to be able to reanimate. As we reconstruct or whatever it's called. The white five mana reanimation spell. For creatures and artifacts, I would take that if we come across one. I go lay down the arms. I would hope we come across one. We are soon on the wheel pack, so combat treasure is super good. Damn, it's a late one. I can't believe so good white cards are still wheeling. So. That's good. Unleash, Juggernaut, Lotus. Maybe we don't need a Lotus. Maybe we ditch the green here completely. This one is so cool. I want to keep it. We have a lot of 3 drops and that's where we want to be. With the chaplains. I would love to get some recommissions. Probably gonna ditch the Lotus. We don't have that much need for ramp, and this is expensive fixing. Drop the Lotus. Might drop the Falaji Chain Dancer. It's kind of nice. I do like it with the Whirling Strikes, but so maybe drop the Corlys. Haste and Prowess. Uh. Okay, let's see. Is there anything we would play here? Possibly the Juggernaut. Then we have two. Could you still... Yeah, this one's good. Maybe we only go one Juggernaut though. 
Don't want to be too high on the curve. So we are 27 playables. We need to drop more stuff. I think we could drop the soul petition, although it is all right in this deck, aggro deck. We're gonna go with the phalanx. Okay. Okay. I think we dropped the Jade Crafter. Do we drop the Simulacrum? It's a 4-3 it's a for three, four, 3. We're never gonna unearth it though. Hmm. It's pretty good though. I mean, it's really good putting the counters on, some, on a 2 drop, so I think we're gonna keep it even though we can't. Um, Unearth it. Unless we keep the, the, the... We did not get any Lawrence escape, so that's a little bit weak. And now I wish we actually we took the white the Tosca enchantment. That would have been better than the Platinum Angel. Platinum Angel is great, but if you don't have any Lawrence escape or any ways of protecting it with Hexproof, um, it's a, a lot worse. Then you're just living on the off chance, OP can't deal with it. So, that's these are aggro. Kind of want to keep them. Soul Petition. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, let's go load on the curve here. Mishra is. And I like all of these cards, to be honest. This is the top end where I want to clean. We're gonna ditch Juggernaut and unleash the shell. And then we're gonna drop. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 31 white source. Go 16 lands. So that's 7, 8, 9, 10, 16. Okay. And we're gonna keep the, the Platinum Angel. Although this deck would have been better if it was a 3 man enchantment. 100%. 100% better. Okay, do we keep both of these or is it a three drop we should drop? Which one? Maybe it is the, the excavation prodigy. I guess it's filter. We don't have any ways of drawing cards. It's got a card. And it's... Probably the weakest here. I think I'm gonna go like this. Let's try this. Right. Low to the ground aggro. Let's see what we can do there. Ah, oh, I wish I would have had the Ducasia instead of the Platinum, but can't get it all. Or well, I could get it all, but I I made my choice. Let's go. We're up against Felix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a good. Good. Let's go, we have a good curve here. This chaplain is gonna fly in with a spike. That is my plan. I don't think I'm gonna uh, uh, ditch anything. I'm gonna wait with playing out the mat. We're gonna go chaplain here. Okay. Pretty good. I can attack with my vanguard here. I can actually attack with both, I guess. But I'm gonna attack with this only. And obviously if he blocks, then I will strike. Or do I trade? Nah, I think it's worth it. Now oh, I should have gone in with both maybe. Six to equip and so good this uh, goddamn death touch is no joke on my small creatures. Easy attack here. I am trading. 
Okay, it's fine. I'm not, I want a land, I think. Oh no, I think I want the one seeker though. I still can play all my cards here, so I'm not in dire need for lands. Wonder if OP does not have any removal, because if he has no removal, I'm a little bit inclined to go for the. Or maybe we should. Uh... Kind of, yeah, I'm kind of intrigued in going with this. I think it's probably. Let's see if it dies here. Okay. Then I'm not gonna do that. Then we'll go. Is this Pulsestone coming in tapped? Uh, then I might as well go like this. Okay. Next turn, if we draw a land, we can double spell. Otherwise, we can, I guess, double spell anyways. Trample is good with the spike. Because we only need to pay one damage to the creature and it dies with the death touch and the rest will trample over. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I'll try there if it comes at me. Oh, that's good. Can exile this one actually. Maybe we just exile it. I think that's fine. Easy. Don't mind this. We have a nice board. This is Menace. So next turn if we draw land we can uh, equip this. It's gonna be so nice because this one will probably do damage. Like the best thing is if you place out one big creature. Uh, well that's even better. But I want him to tap out because now we could have a disfigure still. Land is the best draw. There we go. Could have also. I'm gonna do it on this one. This one is it's a little bit safer to put it on the spear in this case. Okay, it wouldn't it didn't matter. That's sad. But if he has no creature, that's tapped. Okay, we're in a great place. We're gonna take half his life here. Oh no! Ooh, we need black for this though. Obviously. Wonder if we should ditch this. Because we don't have black mana. I think we should draw something else that we can play. I, I think it's better. And this is a great card, but if you can't play it, it doesn't do anything. This is such a threat, this goddamn spike. He's doing a good job here, but we can still uh, unearth this one. And we will. If he has no blockers, yep. We are good, we're gonna uh, take half his life here. No, he's gonna eat my mat. Oh, very nice. Oh, wow. Very nice play. Like, that was a nice turn from OP. I still feel I'm heavily favored here with, the, with this on the table. I, I, I have a feeling my top draw will be better. Now I'm gonna save all my lands because remember, we do have the Kyla. And Kyla discards cards and draws new cards based on how many cards you discard. So, man. This one is annoying. I'm just gonna keep trading. I'm gonna keep just hammering here. I'm not gonna play out my lands. Least. Perfect. Now we at least got him. Now we get a hit, taking half his life. Thank you very much. Let's go! 
boom. And then? Boom. And then we have lethal with this guy. Should do it. He has only one blocker here. Two blockers. Okay. Survives for another turn. Not. Doesn't matter. Let's go! Nice! Got him! Nice and clean. Okay. Now we're up against Sipix. Ooh, I grow oh Platinum Angel, sure, let's go. Good game, we needed some white mana at some point, but no rush. A little bit uh, weekend maybe this. We need to draw to some new stuff, but I do like the the aggro. White mana. Nice. It's fine too. It's gonna be pretty good with the whirling strike. White mana next turn. Then we can I'm not gonna kill it. Now I will. Or actually. Oh, it's really good. Just need to draw white now. Mm -hmm. Okay, white mana next turn. Please. Fuck. So bad. Okay. <laughs> How many white manas do we have? This is joke. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Plus the evolving wilds. Uh, I'll take it. This one is a little bit annoying. Maybe I should have killed when I had the chance. Ah, I mean, his trampler was equally as scary. And this one, two white sources, and we can exile it. This card I wanted. That's very unlucky. Very unlucky. Come on. We just need, uh, I mean, we're so fucking unlucky here. I can't do anything. I have to jump. Let's go. Jumpy de jumpy. Holy smoke. Hey, shit is going down. Okay. Do like that. Burning strike. Okay, fuck. No white mana, what can I do? That was very, like, this is our two only swamps. Odds are very loaded for that to happen. But it's magic, it is what it is. You brush your... <laughs> go into the next. Okay. Let's go! Let's go. Let's go and dig for some uh, red mana here. If we draw into red, we can always discard a mat, should we want. Pretty good, this one is pretty good. I mean, is this one is as its best, maybe, early. Get rid of early stuff. I think I'm considering just ditching the goddamn jigs. It's two colors away from playing this.
Let's share planes. Hope we draw a red source. It's fine. And we can remove uh, whatever. I mean, maybe the best move next turn is to actually as remove and scry for what we want. I hope we place a like a three drop. Big boy. That's not as good. It would have been better if he. Oh, that's a good uh, draw. Uh, let's just go, go for it. Now we need red. Perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. Now we scry for red. Perfect. We only need one. Next uh, thing he plays, we will likely be able to exile. Unless it's like a six drop. Could be. It would be nice to get him here. Oh wow. Before he can uh, boulder branch. Oh, I should have unearthed. That was a mistake. Is it too late? Yeah, fuck. Yeah, this was a little bit of a mistake. But at the same time, I want to play out the Hornet. Interesting that I can save my own mutt. Then I won't take two, but... I'm gonna save this for a rainy day. Next. Next. And we go madness. And now we can. Yeah. We can mut in something, exile something else. We can we can get lethal here. Six if you only place one creature. And it should hopefully it's not boulder golem. Don't want him to gain six. It would suck. That's perfect. That's five mana. If we draw a white land, we can exile it, otherwise I'll petition it. Okay. Perfect. Let's go. Should do the trick. This is enough, so I'm not gonna... I'm gonna save this. Should he have uh, whatever he could have had? Then I saved one mat to fill the lands later. Nice, but it feels uh, r definitely like Platinum Angel could have been replaced with that enchantment. Would have been better. I'll filter one. Uh land one white with my mutt should we need to i'm on the play hello that's really good mm. let's see if we can find a land that's good we have two shots at finding a land here scar the white source ah. hopefully we draw one naturally here Perfect. Red land, oh, oh, and black. Ooh, two, the two, two things we needed. It's a little bit sad. Sure. It's pretty good. Let's dig for lands here. None of these we can keep. I, I need uh, red lands. Cool. Another phalanx guard. See if he's a soldier stack here. Looks like it. Like if he plays a lord next turn, it's gonna be very scary. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna play this to see if I can draw something fun here. We'll drop a rock counter. 
That's not bad. I'm gonna raise him. And I'm gonna exile one just because it's a little bit too scary to be up against that many creatures. If he attacks, I'll block, of course. Where is our lands? It's in the graveyard. Let's see if he has a 3 3 flyer that he can flash in. If he passes the turn. I don't dare to attack, to be honest. Ooh, this is great. Let's see if he has Lawrence escape. Yep. That's fair. I don't mind. Next turn we can even... I mean, I'll probably ditch the Platinum Angel. I don't think we will be able to play... Ah, okay. The right play here is to ditch the White Land, I think. Oh yeah, we can't even do that. Okay, well. I'm fine with this. Ah, not much I can do here. I'm just gonna hammer him. Hopefully it's gonna be enough. Scary if he plays out that white uh, five mana creature that poops out artifacts. Based on how many creatures you have. Yeah, this is gonna be a chunky hit. Next turn I will not attack in, I'll keep my mat back. Damn. That was that was probably This is so unfortunate. I can't believe this. Is it two uh, it's two games in a row where I've been I'm, I died to removal but I'm gonna take my chances. Come on. Uh oh. He, he snapped. Okay, that's fine. Is he gonna trade? Probably should. He'll hit me for three. Hmm. Can he do stuff? Okay. Now we need to kind of. Uh, Well, we need to draw something. Land. That's not it. Good game. That happens what when you don't draw fucking lands. Two games in a row. <sighs> Incredible. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands plus evolving wise. Eight lands. And we drew all our planes. We only had five. One, two, three, four, five. Six we have, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, we drew, well, one we milled into our yard, so we basically drew into all our planes without seeing a single mountain. Meh. Let's go, we're up against JMO. Now we have all the red. Hate this, what the fuck? I can't not keep this, like we have a one drop and we are on the play and then Cinder more. so if we draw a white now, our curve is insane. I might uh, actually kill it if it blocks, no it didn't. White mana or black mana. Almost like I want black mana more now. Pretty good. Now it's just above, uh, you know, the magic three power, which a lot of red creatures are, or a lot of creatures in general. So this one is in a pretty good shape. It's above, um, it's above, the, not uh, fight, like, he can still fight it with the harvester, uh, but it don't die to the, it doesn't die to the excavation explosion, so that's pretty nice.
I'll probably just go in here. If he double blocks, I'll uh, whirling strike to save my guy. Do some damage. Nice. Doesn't. Gonna be a nice big hit here. Gonna hit him for three and remove two creatures. That feels pretty sweet. He might go Gaia's uh, here, but I'm still. Yeah, actually, then he would kill my guy. No, he wouldn't, because my first strike will deal with the, the other, the other creatures. So we, we're all good. We're all good. Best case scenario. Killed both of his guys and our guys survived. Okay, now we just won't land. Black or white? See if he has a big big boy here. Boulder branch golem maybe. 3-3. Three, three. Plays for the, the lower cost. That's, uh, that's not scary. Ooh. Let's just go. I'll trade. If you want. Does he have a whirling strike? Yeah, go. Okay. That's fine. Frustrating with the lands. We have been so unfortunate with land draw. It's absolutely crazy. What's the fuck going on here? Let's see, do we attack into this? Yeah. Doubt he double blocks. Or sorry, well of course he wouldn't double block. Well, actually, I guess he could if he has the Gaia's uh, uh, protection or another giant growth. Okay. See what he got then. Okay. Let's go with the only spell we can play. Oh, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? I'm just gonna hammer him, I need to kill him here. Next turn I'm expecting him to unearth, try to get rid of my simulacrum here. But again, there we go. I'm gonna go for white. Funny that I killed him with uh, without using my white man, <laughs> mono red, whatever. Sweet. Oh my god. Come on. Let's see. I wanna go to the money back uh, territory. <laughs> I have high hopes for this game. I think we're gonna be on the play and draw perfect mana. Alright, okay, there we go. This is uh, really good. I'm happy with this. Pop this. I'm not gonna wait. Good game. Let's go. Oh, spike as well. That's fun. With the chaplain, it's really good. He did, he did it the right way, not showing me. Okay. Oh wow, okay. I think I'm gonna go with the big trampler boy here, especially since we have the soul partition. Next turn we're gonna just exile whatever he plays. Hopefully he plays a three drop here, we just exile him. No excavation explosion. 
That's concerning. I'm not gonna play the simulacrum because I'm expecting. Oh, okay, nothing died. That's... This is gonna be a very fast game. Ooh. Ah, I don't need the mat. Mat can lie there. Yeah. Oh, that's why. That is his why. Okay, wow, that was a nice. Now we're gonna start emptying his hand. Well, we have done some damage to him. Okay, there we go. This is the worst one we could possibly. That's fine. Guess we could just play simulacrum, but at the same time, I have a feeling this is a little bit nice. This is instant speed as well, so I'm gonna be able to exile whatever. I don't care about this, because I will be able to raise him. I care about what he plays now. Nothing? Very good. So we're gonna do like that. See if he kills it. Okay. I'm gonna go like this. I'm not gonna put all eggs in one basket. I'm gonna put the counters here. Come on, survive. That's good. Ooh, titanium command! Nice! Five. Boom. It's menace, and we can exile whatever he plays, so he needs to play two creatures. And no, three creatures. Or, well, oh, okay, well, that is also a thing he can do. Fine. He's dead. Good game. I was fast and furious. Could have done many things. Could have exiled his guy there as well. Ay, ay, ay. That was like perfect curve for us. Four! Woohoo! Now, one more win! Then we get our money back. Alright. Hand looks uh, pretty good. Gonna keep it. We, draw, we wanna land, but a little bit slow. Could exile this, should I want to? I don't think we need to. Okay, we'll do it the right way here. I'm not gonna show my colors. Black, that's expected. Okay. See if there's a... Okay, that's fine. Red. That's good. Um, I think it could be... I'm gonna exile this because, I mean, if you wanna play this on his turn 4, then I'm fine with that. I'm gonna take... Yeah, I just wanna clear the board a little bit here in the early game. There we go. Let's... Play this and draw a card. It's very good with the whirling strikes. Hope we draw red so we can keep this one open as well as playing out the one seeker. Go. Hmm. Could also exile this and attack for six. I think that's a bit too aggressive though. Two drop. Maybe this is the right choice actually. Ah, I mean we, we can exile bigger stuff so I'll chill. Mm. 
Now we have three white. Just gonna chill here. No attacks on turn. Red mana would be really nice. I wanna play out my horn seeker as well as keeping a whirling strike up. Sure, let's go. He might uh, sack his flask here to give this three power to kill my Krog. Could also have a whirling strike, which would suck. If I go like this and then he has a whirling strike, it's gonna suck, but fine. See if he has one. This figure, oh, even better. Man, what a blowout. Three drop, two drop. These ones I will play for free. So I could basically... I'm gonna wait one more turn. I wanna exile something bigger than this. But uh, this one and this one I can play for free with my uh, Krug. So this one will I will just lose then. And I will lose this. So maybe... Uh, and maybe I have to use up these two this turn in order to feel better about a, a, a wipe. Kind of, I don't want to lose my platinum angel though, but... Okay, well that option is not longer valid. Come on, red mana, so I can go Hornseek and Chaplin. That's very good. Come on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do we, want, we draw one more mana. We have, we have the mana for our angel, which is gonna be sweet. I'm gonna draw a creature here if I if I find one over planes, because I I don't need more planes. One, two, three. Rock counter, sure. Why not? And now, and obviously, if he plays this for four, I can exile it. Or, or need a white mana. Hmm. I'm super happy that he's tapped out, because then he has no favorable blocks. Ooh, that's exciting. So let's have a think here. Whirling strike will hit for four. Killing one and then, yeah, actually I can attack with both here. Because his uh, blast runner, he can, his blast runner can still kill me if he sacks the flask. But then uh, that happens. If that is the, uh, his game plan. Maybe, but, but oh, I'm so lucky. Is this a sorcerer speed? Okay. Let's go. Black mana next turn. Would be kind of good. We need to. Um, Increase the pressure here because he has a lot of cards at hand. A little bit concerned about that. If he starts to, you know, get some more mana, he can start dropping his hand. Oh, this is the one I need to meld with my gigs. Ah, oh, I will need it. He wants it. Okay. This one we can exile, that's the funny part. Exile, which means the unearth op op option won't 
uh, be available to our opponents. This is actually bomb. It's a bomb draw back. As good as it can get. Can't believe that. That was lucky. Exile for one mana. Woohoo! Nice. I give myself a nice. I don't think he likes this. Nothing he can do. Nothing has changed here. I'll still I'll just go in here with my mega attack. Now he probably double blocks. Pressure too much pressure. Surely he must know that I have the whirling strike and he's probably done the math himself, but he can still Okay oh, Wow if he if I didn't uh, if he would have uh... No, no, yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, let's go Let's go So even if he sacks the flask here it won't uh, kill me We're in pretty good shape here. We have a severe board advantage, and then when we drop the angel, it's gonna be great. What can I do with this one red mana? There we go. I guess he could have. Uh Okay, so black mana is the best draw next turn. Then we can play either the Mishra or the Platinum Angel. And the fact that he doesn't remove anything leaves me to believe that he might not have any removal. Otherwise I think he would have started to clean up here something. This one is great. I wonder what he's gonna name. Constructs, okay. So that one is a little bit bigger. That's fine. Surely he won't attack. That would be aggressive. Could the fracture? Maybe as a power stone fracture, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. Well, I'm happy to play that now because Platinum Angel. <laughs> no! Oh no, now we can't do Platinum Angel anymore. Oh, if we draw land, we need two more lands. Oh. Well, look at that. Look at that. We draw the perfect draw, but uh, uh, unfortunately, obviously. Um. We lost our power stone, so oops, nice. Mm -hmm. This is a really good blocker right now, though. So I need to find some more uh, whirling strikes. Have I used both of mine? Whirling strike, whirling strike. Okay, so and soul protect, and, and I've used all my ex. Um, what am I remove? No, I have a prison sentence left in my deck. Okay. Prison sentence then. Let's draw land next turn. Same concede to the angel. So. We could, if we attack next turn with all of these guys, that's 4 damage. And then he gonna wanna kill this, maybe double blocks the Mishra. Then he, he dies, then I have lethal. So then he jumps there and takes, that's lethal. And then, okay, so he, uh, okay, we have a, if he doesn't expand on his board, we have a favorable, uh, Attack. Now it's different. Removal and we can win here. Uh, or do a really good attack step at least. 
Oh, how about that? Man, this, <laughs> this, uh, this round has been the best draws and the worst draws. Sure, I'll take a land for the angel. Like, I have had the best and worst draws. That's so interesting. This is, uh, it needs to jump here. It can eat my rock counter and then it needs to... Or not even eat trade. Yeah. Now it's lethal just attacking next turn. These two just attacking is lethal, not even delivering the damage just because of the trigger of the jig, so... Has black any... he can't copy this, right? If I play this out next turn, can he copy it? I don't think so. You need to be blue to do that, and you need to do that with that... Uh, that uh, artifact construct, the one that is... I think it's like 9 mana on the expensive half and only 4 mana, 2 blue and 2 colorless on the uh, uh, sheep half, what's it called? The prototype half. Land! I'm just gonna do it to show off. <laughs> but uh, if we could copy this uh, then obviously wins, good game. He has removal here. Bop bop! Trigger kills him. Get him. Nice! That was perfect draw. And some of the games earlier was not perfect. Oh, we are at 5 wins! Maybe! You know, we have the money back. I'm happy. This one is... Good. Now let's see if we can make it all the way though. Will we get the best draw or the worst draw next? Let's see. Uh, looks like, oh, this is the first time we see the veteran. Damn, this looks to me like a pretty darn good draw. The, th the exciting thing with this hand is that it looks like we will be able to actually play the Krug. Actually, uh, because now if we play out a, a creature, we can this one and this one we can play for free with the Krug ability. So that's pretty exciting. Obviously, I'll play this one out. I'm not gonna trade here because I have the Siege Veteran and I will play Siege Veteran next, uh, next turn. Hopefully. Could even play Simulacrum. Just put the counter straight up here. I'm happy he tapped out. Don't think he will. Oh, he did. He, did. he offers up the trade. So this is exciting. I'm gonna go like this. I think this is the best. See if he trades two for one. That's fine with me. Now we have a two drop and a three drop. To play with our... Uh, uh, oh wow, we did it. Perfect. I'm super fine with this. So, uh, that means that we're gonna go Kyla Bin Krogh next turn and set up for the end game. Oh, that's, uh, that's cute. Let's go. Into prison sentence, I guess. Okay. 
Interesting game. I mean, it's anyone's game here. It's kind of even on the board. This is my advantage, but who knows if it uh, survives. I might need to... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's good. Fine, I'll take the three. You know what? I'm gonna go... Prison sentence, and then... Let's see, now we can control our draws next turn. Soul Petition is actually pretty darn good, land we don't need. Now we just go... Go in here. Next turn we just... Uh, we, we're gonna... Uh, first we're gonna... Oh man, I needed the land. I, I fucked up. It's not the end of the world. I should have ordered the land on top because we need the land to. Uh, we're gonna mill this basically. We don't we don't have enough mana to. It costs four to activate this, so I can't cast this one. But I'm okay with that. I'm gonna just mill this card, draw th fresh three new cards, put both of these onto the battlefield. Feels good. And then the scrap mod will trigger, so then we can filter maybe. I hope we draw the cards first. We can draw them and see if there's anything we wanna um, the, uh, discard to the mat. I hope it uh, survives this turn because it's gonna be very exciting and powerful play, like super powerful play next turn. We're gonna draw three cards and play all of these for free. So I'm fine with that, 100%. What? That's crazy. Easy, easiest trade. Come on, please. Of course you have that. But let's go. That and that. Submit. This got a card, land. Combat treasure. Which one do we want to put the counter on? Put it on the mat and, and, and trade with the uh, Vanguard should it come at me. This one is so goddamn good. I hope I draw land next turn. Now we can play the treasure for the expensive. That's fine. I'm not gonna... I'll take this. I think I'll take this. Wow, that's so good. Okay, let's go. sure that this is the best even. I think it's fine. Because he, I don't think he will just take this and then I will I will kill this on uh, on the attack back. I'm not gonna block with this. <laughs> okay, that's good. Mm. I am curious to what's gonna happen here. Involuntary cooldown would be bad. If he taps down all my stuff, he has lethal. But if he had that card, he would have played it already. But by no means have we won yet. But it's very close. I think maybe next attack step will uh, sh shift the, the game in my favor if I... Because, uh, yeah. Okay. 
I'm gonna offer up the trade, pass, like that, and then I'm gonna offer up the trade. I'm waiting for him to... I'm fine with that. Now we have a flyer that we can put counter on. No, this doesn't fly. Oh, that's fine. A little bit scary, but it's okay. My turn. Mm -hmm. Does it matter where I put the counter? It's time to protect this guy. Ooh, this is... yeah, let's go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not lethal, even if it takes all of this. Okay. I'm fine with this. I don't think we need to use our whirling strike. I'll rather double spell, go... Uh, okay, that's perfect. We still die to a lot of card. Four, that's not it. Start with this. Airlift Chaplain, perfect! <laughs> Woo! Let's go! Yay, but if he, if he can tap that down. We're still not dead, though. We still die to involuntary cooldown. But I think we have this game. Come on. Yes, that's so good. <laughs> we have it. What could this be? Subjugation won't do anything here. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Yep. Got him. Got him. Damn, that feels good. Oof, that was scary. That was scary. What could he possibly have here? Yeah, there we go. Oof, oof, oof. Uh, where's the double striker? There you are. That's fine. That will die. I think... Uh, he can have machine over matter and send something back to my hand. Let's just go safe here with a flyer. And draw a land. There we go. I want the land. That should do it. Nice. Got him. <laughs> Intense. Rank up. We're in gold. Tier 2. Very nice. Yeah, the, it was a reset, I guess, so it's a brand new, fresh format here. We have the final boss, and it's a win or lose. Exciting, let's go! I'm more than happy with how it turned out either way, so... Let's see, is it gonna be good draws or bad draws? Looks like good draws. <laughs> this is holy smoke horn seeking into veteran is kind of bananas that is bananas hello blue okay that's good oh okay that's scary that's scary Let's see if he if he goes excavation explosion here, i'm gonna cry because then he gets a soldier plus kill my dude No, don't look at it like that. I hate that. Don't look like it. Don't look at it. Blast zone. That sucks. But it's slow. I'm still gonna go. I'm gonna go for it. He 
He didn't have excavation explosion last turn, hope earlier or yeah no then he could have uh, killed uh, this one. So I don't think he has it. Next turn we could go simulacrum. If we draw land then we can go simulacrum and scrap mat. That would be kind of crazy. We might also go chaplain, try to dig for another land and then mat. But yeah, this is exciting. I kind of want to get above uh, uh, oblib oblib obliterate and uh, excavation explosions. I feel a little bit vulnerable at uh, two or three power. So we might put the counters from I'm more than game for a race. Let's go. What do you have? Wow, that's so awesome. Damn, okay. Well, let's just go fast and furious. Is it better to double spell? Rock counter and... Uh, no, it's not. Let's go. I'm gonna just put all the counters on this one now. I'm too. I, I don't want to die to uh, obliv obliterate. We're winning the race. What does he have here? This one is for trading. If he still comes at me, we have so much good stuff in our hands too. Next turn, it's gonna be chaplain into mat probably, or chaplain into rock counter. I'm a little bit scared. What is his three last cards? He could also just produce a lot of like he will get two one one tokens for every uh, non creature spell. That means he can poop out jump blockers, which is suck sucks. I hope I draw a land. So I don't want to fetch land with the chaplain. I want to put a counter on the chaplain to be able to block the commander should we need to. Uh oh. So that's a three drop, three drop. At the same time, like if he can't blast zone either. He could uh, board wipe my uh, veteran and simulacrum with a blast zone next turn if he pays just do the down payment this turn. Whirling strike is not a bad draw either. Oh, that's good. Okay. Now I'm intrigued. I hope he attacks. That's the what the heck? That's so good. That's crazy. Can't believe this. Now I'm I'm bigger than. So we're gonna try to draw land here. Yeah, fuck. He needs to jump here. So he can go, like depending on what he has here, he can, he can get lethal. If he has a bounce spell, then it's, it's for 5. No, no, the unearth... No, 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 he can't do that and unearth. And he can't even unearth right as of right now, he needs to play another land. That would be dumb. That's good. Okay. Oof. I really needed that power stone. I'm so down on lands. Oh wow, nice. I'll trade. Take the fourth. Easy. 
Come on. We need... Uh... So, let's see here. I don't die. Actually, that was... Maybe that was... My demise is probably the... Um... The flood here. We're 24 <laughs> cards. We have a, we're half our way through our deck and we only have three lands. Let's see here. If he can now unearth next turn, so he can hit for five. So I need to play a jump. I need to jump this. But that's not enough. I need to. That's not gonna be enough. I think I'm fucked. I'm afraid. Maybe I can make it like this. Which one do I care the least about? I guess this one. Okay. So now I can block uh, two and take four. Yeah, actually I go down to one here. I go down to one, so that's fine. So I'm gonna do that. Then I, I only take two and like that. Okay. If he has a spell, no. Okay. We're stabilizing. We're stabilizing. Oof. Let's see what we do here. I need a flyer, obviously. This one has reach though. So a double spell is probably better. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna go in. Fuck, I should have played... Uh, that was a mistake. I should have played out uh, this... No, it will trade either way. We might actually get him here. Don't need this. I'll drop. I'll ditch this uh, equipment here. Oh, I could have done that ahead of combat. I should just have played. Oh man. Okay, let's see. We die to removal. He can't blast on it away. Because it uh, blasts on only kills one drops right now. Nice! <laughs> we did it! We did it! Oh! Ooh, I'm gonna go and fetch a black land here. That's gonna be very nice. Then we're just gonna go in. We don't need uh, three. Is lethal. That's lethal. Now we have three lethal creatures. Okay, let's go. Oh no! <laughs> this is exciting. <laughs> but he needs to trade, though. He needs to jump all of them. Oh, this is such a game! <laughs> oh wow! I love this. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. I think we got it though. <laughs> oh. Oh. Boop. Boop. Next turn we play the gigs and start to gain life. Holy smoke. There we go. That's what she wrote. Excavation explosion, I die to. He can shoot it to my face. He could have that. I'm so scared. Does he have excavation explosion? No, that's not gonna do it. Oh, nice. Oh my god. We kill him here just by the attack. Damn! That was... 
Oh man, what a roller coaster games. This was crazy. I can't believe we made it to the seven wins. Even though we had the worst of lucks with the with the draws in some of our early games. Never once did we win because of the Platinum Angel, so 100% should have gone for the to uh, Tokasia, the enchantment that draws us cards, but can't complain, I'm super stoked, I'm super happy, I hope you enjoyed these games and uh, hit the like and subscribe and I see you for the next one.